Hello everybody and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Diplomacy for Litdom mod. Now this will be the first Let's Play on the NMGS Gaming channel. So let's get this started, shall we? Now my plan is to play as a Kurgit. So and as for dialogue, as you can see on the screen at the moment, I will not be reading that out loud because you will want to shoot yourself if I did. But I will try not to skip it too quickly to give you a chance to pause the video and read it for yourself. So we're going to be playing as a male. Uh, we were a step nomad. Then a step child. Makes sense. And eventually a game poacher. Now this is what I roll as to make a horse archer from the get-go. And we're going to say we were forced out of our home. No, no, let's say we won the last. Technically, I think the character I'm playing, he was actually forced out of his home, but we shall see. Anyway, realistic. No quitting without saving, because that's how we roll. We're going to be called Temujin, which was what Genghis Khan was known as before he was Genghis Khan. So we're going to up Grade a few skills here, so leadership, prisoner management, very important for early game to make some moolah, as I say. Um, power draw, uh, archery is as high as I can get it, unfortunately. So we put the points into one-handed weapons, fit into two-handed. Not too bothered about throwing, personally. So I will eventually be rolling as an archer with a two-handed sword. Um, Let's choose our appearance, shall we? Let's try and find one that looks rather... Kurgity. Hmm. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. So let's choose... Ah, uh, where was it? No. That one. That one, that one looks pretty good. Change the hair up a little bit. Yes, that looks very Kurgity. And quite intimidating, I must say. So here we go, pause the video if you'd like to read the text. Okay, so let's get going. Here we go. Let's see what bandit we're facing this time. Oh, he's got a bow. Hmm. Come on. I think I need to decrease my sensitivity to be honest this is very difficult to aim there we go got him that guy was like boring here a lot of arrows he took or I shot me in the face of course makes me wonder why they didn't just shoot boring here in the face instead of shooting him in the chest each time so here we go is the basic bandit quest from native because the Diplomacy Litton mod is basically native, but on steroids. Um, a lot more fun, in my opinion. So there we go. Let's get started. And the map of Karadia. Doesn't look like we're surrounded by bandits at the moment, which is very good. Makes things a lot easier. Nah, step bandits. They are your bane at the beginning of the game as a Kurgit. Because they are incredibly fast, as you can see. And they will rip you to shreds if you're not careful. So I'm gonna take it take it slowly at first. Might go and get those looters. Because we wanna see war, don't we? We don't just want to see riding around the map. We want to see some killing. So let's go. Hello, surrender or die. Here we go with our first battle. Admittedly, it is against a few looters. And there's the tribesmen. Now, the Diplomacy Lipton mod has made all Kurgit tribesmen mounted. Which is quite a nice feature. And this axe looks a lot nicer as well. It's the, uh, the hilt. Let's just get our men to charge in. If they die... Oh, that was lovely. If our men die, then it means they weren't worthy. Oh, 
Good. Oh dear. Obviously, just starting out, your accuracy from horseback is uh, not the greatest. Let's give him a bit of an axe. Oh, okay. Glad I took prisoner management, so we should be able to take one of these guys prisoner. Which means I can sell him to the nearest ransom broker. Oh, four of them. Very good. And we get three skirmishes as well. Wonderful. Oh, yes. As a poacher, you start with furs. And as a step... I think it is the step nomad gets the cavalry shield. Let's have a comp comparison here. Yep, nomad armor is a lot better. So we'll just take all this. Ooh, thick woolen cap. <laughs> I don't I don't look very epic at the moment, do I? I, I yes. It doesn't look very amazing. But it shall do. We're more protected. Let's visit the tavern. You've got all the people sitting around drinking. And the scold playing his dream. Oh, handy. Ransom broker right, right here. Let's see how much he will buy the prisoners for. So he is buying them at 32 per person. But with the diplomacy Lipton, I'm pretty sure these guys buy them as well. And she'll buy them at 50 apiece. So, little tip there, if you're taking losers in the Diplomacy Lipton mod, sell them to the Tavern Keeper. Every other soldier is better sold to the Ransom Broker, but with the low ones, like the looters, sell them to the Tavern Keeper, you'll get a bit more money for it. So, let's sell some of this stuff as well. I don't know how much you'll be able to buy, probably not a lot. So, just keep going. Ah, you can buy the lot. Brilliant. Let's have a look at the armors. Let's get myself a step cap. Just so I look a, a little bit better. Just, just a tiny bit better. Because at the moment he doesn't look very strong. Could buy a Kurgit bow. But I need to save my money up. So let's go. Back to Tolga. To talk to the merchant. Now, I'm keeping an eye out for these step bandits because they are an absolute nuisance when you're just starting out in the Kurgit lands. So, let's mm -hmm. go to the tavern. And where is he? It's my Feld. Ooh, Nizar. That's one of the crew I normally roll with, so I'm going to take him. Yep. Join me. And he comes with a Kurgit Corsa, I believe. He has a very good horse, very good armor, and a saber. So, where is the merchant? Hmm. It is Tolga I'm meant to be at, I'm pretty sure. Very strange. He's in the tavern at Tolga. Well, we're at Tolga. Hmm. The YouTuber curse is upon me. <laughs> I can't. What? Oh. Okay. Get off the bar. You're drunk. You bizarre. You, you very strange man. Just. Oh dear. That's the first time I've ever seen that. That's uh, that's quite funny actually. <laughs> Indeed. Right, let's kill these bunch of pussies, shall we? And I've got a very basic horse and a very basic bow. My horse is incredibly slow at the moment, unfortunately. Right, let's see if we can hit him from here. Oh, we certainly can! I'm getting used to... Uh, Getting used to my bow now, so I can actually hit things. Have an axe. Very slow swinging a two-handed weapon on horseback. 
swords are using a single hand instead of two. Okay. Wonderful. Let's go. Yes, we'll spare your life. Even though if it were my choice, I would have killed him. After getting the information. Because I'm incredibly evil. Okay, so we need to go to the kidnapper's hideout, which is right there. And we get another skirmisher. Let's get Nizar at the top. He is going to be... Let's put him in the cavalry group, shall we? Now, I don't want to attack those step bandits, because they will absolutely murder me if they get the opportunity. So we're going to go straight to the kidnapper's hideout. And it was just getting dark. Wonderful. So, a lot of the graphics are improved by the Diplomacy Litman mod. Bear in mind that Mountain Blade is quite an old game. So, the graphics are rather plain. But they're passable. And it is a very, very good game. So, let's keep going. This is an extremely long little corridor. That's what I'm going to call it. I know it's a valley, but... I'm going to call it the corridor because I'm special. Right. Surprisingly, there's no looters over there this time. They must be up there. Oh, yeah, there they are. Let's see if I can get them from here. Let me just turn down my mouse sensitivity a tiny bit. Oh, dear. There we go. Here they come. I annoyed them. I'll get improved in my accuracy as I uh, get better in archery, obviously. Because at the moment, I'm not a very good shot. Denied. Okay. Whoa, that was close. Those looters have a very good throwing arm. There we go. Let's get these people. Oh, you moved. Nizar! Nice one, Nizar! You did well. And here's the merchant's brother. No, I'm not going to axe him. I don't need to axe him a question today. Let's see. Frosty Falcon. Ah, some better boots. Yes, I shall wear them. We don't really get a lot of good loot out of... Uh, that's not too bad. Out of the losers, unfortunately. Because they're the most basic enemy in the game. But they're good for training up. Which is why we're killing them. And they do give a little bit of money. I don't have enough space. There's no point letting Nizar pick items out from there because he'll upgrade in a stupid way. Because they're not very smart. Okay, so we'll visit the tavern again. Ooh, Artemina. I might grab him, actually. After I've sold this looter to the bartender. I don't know why she wants slaves. So he's an engineer. 300. Yeah, sure. So, I will eventually get him a horse, but for now I will probably give him that shield that I've been carrying about for no reason. I won't bother giving them those hats. I'll probably take on some step bandits to equip my uh, new companions. So, I'm rather poor at the moment. And I reckon I could probably handle a few step bandits. So, I'm going to put him in the... I'm going to put him in the cavalry, even though he's not cavalry at the moment. We will eventually get him a horse. So, back to the tavern. Is the merchant stood on the bar this time? Oh, he's not here. Is he? Where? Oh, he's not upstairs. I... Oh, there he is. Brilliant. Okay. Now, he wants us to lead some group of angry peasants to fight, so let's help him out, shall we? It's more money, and we love money, so let's go. 
Now, a little sneaky way of doing it is to uh, shoot a couple of looters before the combat starts. Whoa, bit of a lag there. Hello, mate. There we go. Bit of axe work going on there. Feel like Gimli now. Kind of like a Gimli Legolas hybrid. Apart from Legolas if he can shoot straight, apparently. Sneaking up behind me. Oh, God. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. I got my ass handed to me. Oh, dear. I'll just show you the... Um, I am playing on the hardest possible difficulty racing for the game, so uh, don't be surprised if I get my ass handed to me one or two times. Because I am using manual blocking as well, which makes it a lot harder. I don't mind taking a few blows for a good cause. Because we're going to get our ass kicked every single time. Well, not every single time, but a lot of the time we will get our ass handed to us. Anyway, so that is the basic tutorial training d uh, mission done. So now I've got to try and uh, gain my renown up. Let's see about joining the Kurgit Carnate. So let's just ride around and try and recruit a few men. Ooh, there's a, there's a battle going on up here. I can hear it, but I'm not quite sure where it is. So we've got 400. So we can get a few people. Ah, some step bandits. I am still wounded, but we'll take them on because I want their loot. And we are catching up. Wonderful. Come here, you cowards. Might nip into the Nara as well. Oh dear, I don't really want to fight them around cliffs. Because cliffs are a nightmare for horses. Although this, 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 no, this map's alright. This one's not too bad. We can work with this. So we'll try and hit them. Not the best shot at the moment. Especially riding up full gallop. Whoa. Spears are a nightmare. Oh dear. He just got shot, I think. Come here. Uh, that didn't happen. I did not just accidentally shoot one of my men. He rode into the, uh, into the arrow. Yes. That's what happened there. I can shoot straight, honestly. Okay, another victory. Hopefully, we should get some proper equipment now. Saddle horse. Which is... A lot faster than my one, so I will be using that one. A uh, stubborn step horse. A spear. Do I want a spear? I probably do. Yes. Do I want it on me or do I want it on one of my companions? I think I'm going to give Nizar that spear. So he can be a bit of a lancer. Which are incredibly effective on horseback, of course. I shall also give him a fancy hat. There we go. Got to keep my men equipped. I could nick the armor off of him, but I feel that's a bit cheaty, personally. I'd rather let them have their own equipment. So I'm going to give him the sumped horse, even though it's slow. I don't think he'll be able to ride that, so there we go. Yep, giving him the best... Uh... No, that armour is better. I could give him the mace. No, apparently his sword is uh, longer. So we'll put the Kurgit Horseman up. It's going to get Surmisher. And I levelled and didn't even realise it. Wonderful. I'm going to upgrade my strength. Put a little bit into power draw. And more into two-handed. Now, I could take on the looters there. But I think I'm going to go to Hailmar. I want to see if I can get 
another companion. Let's see what we've got in here, shall we? Another ransom broker. I don't think I hit, I've got anybody. No, I don't. I should know that, but... I'm not being very smart at the moment. Let's see. Do I want to buy a new weapon? Mm -mm -mm. That's an upgrade. Hmm. I'm very tempted to buy this. Can I justify the price? No, I cannot. I will probably try and kill some more. Step Bandits, because they do have a chance of dropping Nomad Bows, which are the bow that's just below level of that Kurgit bow. So let's go and find some more. Ah, perfect. 15 of them. I might lose a few men here. But as is the way of war, you're not going to always keep your men alive, unfortunately. Let's just fire a couple of arrows off into the distance. We might be lucky and hit one. Nope. And here we go. I missed. Ooh. See, he's got a no man. Now we're losing quite a few troops. That's what I mean about step bandits being your nightmare at the start of the game. At least if you're playing Kurgitz. The Nords have the uh, Sea Raiders, which are about ten times worse. I saw that. That was uh, rather, rather evil. Just planted a javelin in his face. Now my horse is slowing down a little bit because he is wounded. Drop his shield. Out of arrows, so let's give him a bit of an axe. Uh. Cheeky git! Didn't see him sneaking up on me. Ow! Damn archer. Help me, men! Got him. Where's that archer gone? Give you an axe. I don't think that's the archer. Nope, that's another spear thrower. But he's dead anyway. There's the archer. Good going, good going. Get him, tribesman. Get him, tribesman. Oh, there's a... Oh, Artemis here. Somebody kill him, please. Come here. Come here. Ah. Yes. Oh, there's another one. Another archer. Wonderful. Got to try and stay out of the angle. Oh, that was terrible. These are lads. Which is why lances are incredibly effective. Oh, no, it's back, obviously. Hey, another level. I'm going to up my charisma, and we're going to take some weapon master, so I can up my archery. My horse is really, really slow now. Well, we won that. We lost uh, almost everybody. <laughs> Nine of our troops. Yeah, Artemis is a bit annoyed because we lost so many men. He doesn't like it if we lose a lot of troops. But if he can't handle war, then he shouldn't be a soldier, should he? But we did get some good equipment from them, so that was worth it. I'm going to keep my axe. And I am going to equip these... Arrows that I just found. And just take everything else. Now let's get a telling off by Artemina. Where is it? There he is. Yep, 
All right, I didn't expect it to be that bad. It'll be a lot easier once we get a few more companions, so I can upgrade them to be uh, medical people, field surgeons and all that. Right, we're keeping the lance. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We will get rid of these armors because they're a bit rubbish. Uh, you should give one of them that nomad saber and the shield. So we're salarying us. I just noticed that he doesn't have any money. I cleared this guy out before of his money. So there you go, you can pay me a little bit more. There, we go to the armor merchant instead, so we keep that, keep that, we keep that with sell everything else. There we go. Let's have a look if I can buy any good armor. Not really. Not a huge selection there, unfortunately. Are there any more companions in the tavern? Evidently not. Right, okay, so we'll leave and upgrade this guy. I think I'll give Nizar the lance. Very good weapon. Now he has a good scimitar, so I'll let him have that. And the this chap. I'll give him the saber because the short sword is, well, as it says in the name, is short. So it's not actually that good for horseback fighting. To be honest, the short swords aren't very good at all in any situation. They're just not... They're quick, but they're just not very good. I'm very forgetful, as you might have noticed. Sell it to the horse merchant instead. Speaking of. I will buy that, actually. So we'll give that to this chap, because the hum heavy sumpter horse, even though it's he heavy and worth a bit more money, is just too fat and slow. So it just doesn't, it isn't enough. You need speed, I've done it again! I'm used to the, uh, the goods merchants having all the money. So it's a bit of a habit, and it's hard to break old habits. So there is a ransom broker in here, wasn't there? Oh, he's left. What a bastard. Now, I don't want to sell, uh, sell step bandits to the, uh, the bartender because they only pay 50 and I think they are worth more than that from a ransom broker. Oh, he's still here. Oh, yes. Got to talk to him again. Now, I could take you Mara, but she's not part of my uh, crew that I normally roll with. So I've got the setup so I can have companions that won't fight each other. Because if they argue too much, one of them will end up leaving. And I don't really fancy dealing with that. So let's try and find myself a ransom broker. That's a book merchant. Yes, um, she has huge tracts of land. Aha! There's the other trap that I normally roll with. The Hester. Now he is a very good horse archer. So I will want to equip him as soon as I am able to. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another group for them. Actually, no I'm not. He's going to go as an archer. Because eventually, once I get horse archers, I wish we'll add them to that group as well. Still no idea where the Ransom Brokers have ran off to. Ah yes, the town of Helmar. And, once again, if you wish to read this, you can just pause it. Aha! Finally a Ransom Broker! Yep, uh, that's all I need to do. Just buy these presents. There you go, 240. I would have only got 150 if I went to the uh, tavern keeper. Gotta watch those pennies. 
Nobody wants to join me. Ah, cowards. Cowards! A lot of you. Just because I uh, accidentally got nine of you killed last time. It's a hey, one person who's actually got some balls. And... Aha, uh -huh. so the Kurgits are at war with the Swadians, by the looks of it. And I think that was a... Serenid Lord that I just saw as well. So the Kurgits are in a lot of bother. I could join them as a mercenary, actually. Yep, Serenid Sultanate and the Kurg... And the uh, Swadians. Swadians, whatever you wish to call them. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and track down one of the Kurgit Lords. Which I saw an army of them over here. Oh, they've gone. Great. But what I want to do is see if I can join the Kurgits as a mercenary. So I'll be getting a little bit of money. And I can start getting into the big fights. So let's see if I can ask her. Excuse me, miss. Where is, I don't know, let's say Alaganorim. He's travelling to Halmar, where we are. And he's between Amir and Elda, or however you pronounce that. So he is... Hmm, I'm not entirely sure where Amir is. Ah, he's up here. So he should be around here somewhere. So let's go up here. So we should see him on the horizon. There he is. Oi, come here. Do you know me? No. Ah, he's a he's a good lord, this guy. Do you have any tasks? Oh, you want me to be an errand boy? Yeah, no. I'm not I'm not running you uh I'm not running a letter to your buddy. You can do that yourself, you lazy git. Let's go and find some fights. Saranid horsemen. Nope. I am not fighting them. They are rather high tier units. And they will absolutely obliterate my army. Oh, I say army. It's more of a ragtag, uh, ragtag band of vagamons. But uh, we shall see. Just get a few more troops. Right, now we've got 20 men, we can start taking on a few more step bandits. I'd rather not take them on when they're all piled together though, because they will probably bring a mate. So we'll go around here. Ah, there we go, that's something we can take on. Kurgit skirmishers, deserters. Might even get some better equipment from them. Although they are on par with step bandits, I believe. Ah, uh, the chase. Uh, this is why I need to get the companion, Borsha, because he has the pathfinding skill. Don't you steal my... Yes. Keep going. Right. Kill him. We're just going to charge, because there's no point trying anything really tactical. Not at the moment, anyway. Whoa, hello. Or skirmishers, because they are skirmishers, they have ranged weapons. And one shot. Miss. Damn it. Oh dear. Got him. And he's throwing spears on our men. How oh, dare you. Come on. Come on. Ah. Got him. And him. Hey. I saw that. Knocking out one of my tribes. At least he was only unconscious. It's when your men start dying, it's annoying. Because you have to replace them. how many men we lost. Not a lot, I don't think. Whoa. 
going through the uh, trees there. Uh, is that a victory? No, apparently we've still got another one alive. Over here. Oh, by the way, if you wanted to know, backspace is what brings up this little screen here. Very handy for tracking down where the enemies are. I see him. Okay. Can't get a shot. There we go. Tribesman got him. Three. So let us get these men upgraded. Got one captured. Aha! There we go. We're starting to look a little bit better now. Uh, saddle horse. I know who that can go to. And we get some Kurgit leather boots as well. Wonderful. And step cap uh, is not as good as my one. But I know exactly who it's going to go to. We're going to equip Beheshta here. So he's got Nomad Boots. You can have the Kurgit Leather. He has a pretty good vest already. You can have that shield. And he can also have the Saddle Horse. I need to get him a bow, really. And, of course, the cap. There we go. So hopefully you should be able to do a bit of damage now. It will be a lot better once I get him a bow, which I think I might purchase one for him. And the Saranids and the Kurgits are at peace now, so they're only dealing with the Swedians. So we'll go here and sell this crap. And let's have a look at the armour. No, it's not the armour. I need a bow. I can give him a short bow. Hmm, it's quite expensive. I'll give him my arrows, actually. So you shouldn't really need that many arrows just yet. Well, I do, because I can't shoot for anything, but at the moment. Right, let's give him a short bow and some arrows. So now we have our first horse archer companion. Uh, ordinarily, I'll also change Borsha into one and possibly Lezalit. Mind you, Artemon here can be pretty good at archery as well. Let's see, he's a... Um, it's pretty all-round. 80 and everything. But he's an engineer, which makes sieging a lot easier. Well, not easier, but shorter. So, Traveller... Now, we're looking for a Ransom Broker, and it doesn't look like there's any more. So, we'll go back to Halmar, because there was one here before. There he is. It's a different one. But, 66, that'll do. It's money. Let's try and find... There's a Saranid Lord. I need to find the Gurgits. And they're at World of Ages now. Wonderful. Whoa. Is that a lot of Step Bandits? That is a lot of Step Bandits. Hello, Tonji. No, you don't know me. And another pretty good, pretty good person. Do you have any tasks? Oh, they've got a step bandit hideout. Great. Uh, I think that will probably be up here, possibly. I'm not sure if I'm ready to take on a hideout, to be honest. Not at my level. Uh, is it up here? They're stopping there, so maybe it's here. There it is. Hmm. Do we want to take it on? We have very low level troops. Nizar is wounded. Ooh, do, do, do. do I want to try it? Let's live dangerously. So normally, there'll be one or two of them up on the cliffside here. So I need to keep an eye on it. Can't see any as of yet, but doesn't mean they're not there. Yeah, as you can see the way my troops are walking there. There's, there they are. Ah, 
Javelin throwers. Javelin throwers. Not good. Not good. Not good. Whoa. Luckily, they didn't get any of us. See, let's try and hit this loser. Oh, I hit him and then I missed my second job. Got him. Here they come. These are the two from the cliffside. <laughs> try and. Oh dear, there's another one. Where's the archer? He's over there. He's after me. I'm gonna get my men to charge in. I'll try and hide behind this tree. So he doesn't have a clear shot at me. Let's try and hit him. Get him. Come on. A little higher. Go on, Lizard. Kill him. And I might spawn behind me from that little cave. So we've got to be aware. Ah, we won! Easy job. Easy job. And we got a short bow. I'm going to need to buy some more food for my men because they're fat and greedy apparently. Actually, no, we won't because we've just nicked this. Uh, uh, nicked the step bandit ones. There we go. Saves me a bit of money there. Ooh, take the butter as well. And the bread. They had a lot of food. Uh, lame saddle horse is not worth anything. Not really. Crack nomad bow, light lance, sure we'll take that. And we'll take... Try and find the expensive equipment. I wish there was a sort by price option. Would be useful. Maybe in Bannerlord. Ooh, hello. Yeah, pretty good. They can go to one of my companions. Okay. Uh, the hatchet, the club, and the knife. Let's see. Who do I want to give those boots to? Let's give them to Nizza. He seems to be doing a good job, so... He should be rewarded for it. Uh, a little bit better, I think. He already has a lance, so let's give Artemene the next lance I found. Which was this one here. And you can have that. There we go. Okay. So let's go and track down that lord again. Who was it? That was Lord Tonju, wasn't it? I think. Yes. Now, is he still waiting outside here? I highly, highly doubt it, but we shall see. No, he's disappeared. Is that him? Go have a look in a minute. Just sell this rubbish. Yep, going straight to the goods merchant again, which is why they keep running out of money. Ooh. Hmm. I'm still poor, so I can't really afford anything. That's Tilda. Let's go to the castle. Yeah, they just left, just let any random peasant in through the castle doors to see the lord. You know, it's not going to be an assassin or anything, of course. Luckily, this time I'm not an assassin. Ah, what a nice chap. Alright. I wish to ask. Where not Sanjakan is. Uh Tonju Noyan. Where's your name? There it is. Dash big I don't even know how how do you pronounce that? I have no idea. And Zagush. Okay. So he is up here somewhere. Northern Vegas and my peace. Right. We'll turn this quest in and then I might call this an episode. Where is he? As soon as I can find this blooming lord who's 
as elusive as friggin' Batman. Let's see where he is now. Uh, let's ask this lady. Hello! Where's Tonji? It's closer to Shigba. I was just there! Liar. Alright, let's go over to the Shiba. There he is. Alright, mate. Ooh, look at that money and experience. Ah, wonderful. That was worth it. Okay, so we're going to up our charisma twice to get that up. We're going to put that up. Get a little bit more prisoner management because I like many. And up to power strike. Two-handed weapons. Multiple clicking. And let's upgrade Nizar as well. What can you tell me about your skills? Well, I'm going to upgrade your strength. And I think I might make this guy my first aider. And because you've got spear now, you can up your pole arms. Artemenia. Also leveled. We're going to upgrade your strength. Upgrade your power strike. And because, again, you're a lancer, you get some pole arm skill. And my main man, Beheshta. We'll have not a whole lot. You can have really. Um, let's give him some iron flesh and some archery skill. And there we go. And we've got a lot more money, so let's see if we can find myself some nice armor. Okay, could get cavalry armor. Pretty cheap. Looks rather spiffy. So we will take that, and that can go to. Artemen here to make him blend in with our Kurgit crowd a little bit better. There we go. So now we've got a nice motley crew. And we shall see what this nice motley crew can do in the next episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.